Let's predict the ground state electron configuration for bismuth. Bismuth has atomic number 83, so that means it has 83 electrons. The periodic table is going to come in handy to use to figure out the um, electron configuration for bismuth because the periodic table is separated into blocks. Um, you can march to the periodic table knowing that the uh, ground state configuration is going to fill one electron at a time uh, moving through uh, the different regions of the periodic table. So the S block will be filled, then the P block, then you come back around to the next period S block, P block, down to the next period S block, and then the transition metals of course are the D block, and they fill uh, whereas the, the um, energy levels map on with the um, periods of the periodic table. In the D block it's N minus 1 D and we'll fill across until we get to the lanthanide series at which point we drop down to the inner transition metals and fill the F block that's why there's 14, ele uh, 14 elements across the uh, inner transition elements because F has seven orientations with a maxim of maximum of two electrons in each uh, orbital which gives us 14 um, elements in those blocks okay so let's get started the easiest thing to do is going to be use the Nobel gas shortcut so the Nobel gas that comes before bismuth is xenon and so you, you fill up to xenon and then you go to the next level on the periodic table and that gets you to period 6 so you're going to fill up the 6s with two electrons and then you move to the F block and it's uh, the F block when you fill it's N minus 2 F so the N that we're in is 6 so 6 minus 2 is 4 so it's going to be 4 F go all the way across and that's 14 and then pops you back up to the D and you're going to be at the 5 D we're going to go all the way across the D and fill that with 5 D 10 and then we're going to be um, back to the 6 P and it's going to be 6 P 3 on bismuth okay so this is the electron configuration now I could write out the entire uh, thing and go 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 then I'd be down here 3s2 here 3p6 here 4s2 then I'm here which is n minus 1 3d10 here 4p6 fill across come back around 5s2 you're here 4d10 let's see go across to the 5p6 that gets me up to xenon and then the rest would be the same here 6s2 oh this is long 4f14 5d10 6p3 that is the electron configuration for bismuth and without the periodic table I would not have been able to memorize the alpha bow or the filling order for bismuth so the periodic table here really really helps